I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar, and uh, we're here with A Plus Circuit Solutions and Frank of Malia doing a 4,500 watt uh, solar panel install, and he's the subcontractor for the job. So we're going to see how it all goes, and it's an SMA inverter he's installing with it. Okay, they're using all unirack and quick mount uh, mounts for the roof. You have to do an AC disconnect and a DC disconnect. DC disconnect. AC and DC. Oh, they're doing an AC and DC mm -hmm. disconnect. Okay, the job is almost done. There's the AC disconnect. Yeah, this is the one, this is the disconnect coming from the inverter. Okay. And then this is where the new meter will go. Okay. The feedback meter. And this is the old meter. All right. And wow, how many watts of panels they got up there? 4,500 4, watts. 4,500. Okay, it's 4,500 watts. All right, we'll check it out inside. Those square legs are angled like that, so so water deflects and goes around. Oh, okay. Right. Actually, it's a really good-looking install that Franco uh, A Plus Circuit Solutions did. Really nice. Underneath the panels, they have two solar deck boxes. Well, the system is up and running, and the meter is turning backwards. We'll show you the SMA and the 110 volt outlet out on. Oh, well, now it stopped because the sun. <laughs> <laughs> of course it did. China. You got a cloud. That's probably why it came to a standstill, but it's still producing oh, power. Yeah. But this right here is just something that we had to bypass. So this is something that we had to do because Empire hasn't come yet and put their net metering system in. And of course now the sun is shining, see how it's going backwards right now? Because, uh, you know, the, the solar panels are putting out maximum power. Now we got a little bit of shade and it's slowing down. Mm -hmm. But what's cool is this is just a 4.5 kilowatt system and he's not really have much on in his house going on. So just a 4.5 kW can spin the meter backwards during the day, which is pretty nice. And this is a 2,000 square foot home, I believe, four bedroom. Approximately, yeah. And a four bedroom house, and you four have you got. Uh, children, a wife, and yeah, so. two kids, wife, three dogs, yeah, goldfish, and goldfish, yeah. <laughs> so they take power too. Okay, well, so we just got done installing the SMA inverter. We have um, 18 panels up on the roof that we just installed. We're able to uh, get all the DC strings into this inverter. Um, uh, this is the DC disconnect right here, and this is the conversion of the DC to AC. AC comes out here to a disconnect, then it goes to a meter, and then it goes right back into the main distribution panel. But what I like about this particular feature the most is how it has like a, like a backup system right here with this outlet. I'm just going to demonstrate real quick how this works. 
Um, if we shut off basically the whole house mimicking a powder outage, which I'll do right now. So I just shut off the main panel. Okay. And what happens is, is this plug, if I flip this switch in about three to four, about two minutes maybe, I would say, um, this will actually give me power. So without any battery backup. Right, from so, the solar panels, yeah. Right, from the solar panels, yeah. So it takes about five minutes because the, the inverter has to read that everything's down. It has to, you know, take that energy uh, and then convert it again and then bring it down to this outlet. And then there she goes. No kidding. So if you're in the dead of summer, your power goes out, this fan will come in pretty handy if it's really hot outside and your AC isn't working. You oh, can yeah. actually cool down. Doesn't that feel good? You, you said earlier pretty hot. Yeah, I'm pretty hot. Man. I'm <laughs> so now you can it. actually cool down even though I'm the power is out. Display kicked on. Yeah, and so, and now what's really cool is that when, well we have to wait a couple more minutes actually before we turn it on, but actually right. what happens is, is when the power grid comes back on, it yeah. knows it, it reads it, and then it starts spinning the meter backwards again and giving him the credit that he needs and uh, that we can offset his bill. Oh, cool. And will that uh, the, uh, outlet automatically shut off? Yeah, it would automatically shut off. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's what's the, the greatest feature about this. And there's, again, i got to emphasize there is no batteries here backing this thing up. It's so strictly the inverter doing the whole job. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's what it would look like if the power line, say, broke outside and got knocked down with ice or whatever a tree. Yeah. It's back up and now putting back to the grid. Yep. And now it's producing 3,000 or 3,606 watts. Yeah. And so far it's produced one kilowatt towards the grid. Ah, it's cool, you just tap the glass and it comes on. We just got this thing up and running, what, like a 45 minutes ago or so? Yeah. Give me an error. Yeah, she's turning backwards. There's the meter Ozark going backwards. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ozark mailing service? Okay. Uh, yes. Do you have her direct line? Just, the sun just came out from behind a cloud. Do you want me to get it for you? Cool. Hold on. And this is where the Empire... Uh, electric meter will go and it is just bypassed right now with a couple of bars. Okay, I'm here with the homeowner. His name is Jeff. <laughs> Franco's all done with the installation. So what do you think? Oh, it's a most excellent job. I'm very, uh, very happy, uh, especially watching my meter turn backwards when the, when the sun's out, like it is today. Um, and uh, high quality parts, uh, uh, just uh, no no complaints whatsoever. Excellent excellent job. Much very pleased. Oh, this is Franco from A Plus Circuit Solutions. Hello. Anything you want to say? Well, but the best feature I like about what we did for Jeff is the fact that when the when the power is down, we're able to give him a, an outlet to where without any battery backup, to where he can have 1,500 watts of disposable power as long as the sun is shining at his disposal which makes it really convenient for you to actually plug in maybe a refrigerator or even uh, some, a coffee pod or charge up phones. So that's one of the features I like best about the SMA. And I think we've made that demonstration. Yes, that was one of the things I really uh, wanted was to be able to keep my refrigerator, my freezer, my garage going mm -hmm. and uh, that leaves all my frozen food. Oh, so, so see, when people think that when they have solar and no battery bake, they're not going to have electricity, that's not true anymore. That's not true anymore. As long as the sun is shining, we can give them 1,500 watts of power. And, um, and that is, a, it kind of acts like a mini backup generator, but just for about a 12-hour period or however, you know, daylight you have, you know, so. Chop it out. Okay, go. Uh, okay. Uh, where do you work, Franco, and what area? I work in the Spring. I'm based in Springfield, Missouri, but we go as far as Joplin, uh, all the way up to uh, even St. Louis. And we can go uh, Rogersville. Uh, we got like a hundred and 150 mile radius. Oh, cool! 
So right now, there, this, this is something kind of cool. Empire Electric has a rebate deal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right now, they're they're doing that. Um, it's not going to last forever, so it's mm -hmm. it's really good to get on it now. Um, right currently, it was when it first started, it was a dollar fifty per watt rebate. Right. And now it's down to a dollar, and then I believe it's going to go down to seventy-five cents. So right now it's one dollar, and this customer here is on the Empire District. Okay. So he was able to get a dollar rebate for his solar panel plus a thirty percent tax credit on his taxes. So. Uh,